This is the FEMA flood map service center location that I gave in the article. If you're looking for your address, you would key it in here. I'm going to put in this Decatur address that I used in the article. And this, as you see, brings me to the search results page for this. Here's again my address. You can go and change that if you want to. At this point, we have the flood map here. We have the flood panel number and the date, as well as you can look at the map down below. This is the line, the blue line is a boundary between this flood map and this flood map. If you happen to be, didn't doesn't come up right, you can drag this around and double click, slow double click, slow there, and uh, it'll bring up the other map. That's, that's 58. Let me go back over here to this one. See, it goes back to 59. To view the maps, you want to you want to do a little closer examination. The easiest one is this interactive map. You can download a zip file that has the uh, the TIFF image for the map. Uh, I do that sometimes because I'm have to look at them a little more detail. There's another view of the of the scanned maps uh, here that you can do in, online. This one's a little more difficult to use. I recommend you use the interactive maps. It's going to go to the FEMA.gov website and it's going to go to FEMA maps on this uh, ArcGIS site, which is just a GIS program. And once we get there, you can see it brings us in a little closer, a little more detail. We should still be in here. I think the uh, address I have is right in this corner of the street here. But we, again, we should be in the center of that where we were, where our little red mark was. But as you can see now, we have this flood map that shows us the blue here is the zone AE, as you can see there. That's uh, zone A is the 100 year storm or the 1% chance storm. And the uh, E just means it has a, you have an elevation that's been determined for the base flood or that 100 year storm level. This uh, light yellow kind of a rust colored here is the 500 year storm or the 0.2% chance storm area. You can see for example that this this site although it's probably not in the flood zone it's still in the 500 year flood zone not in the base flood it's in that fringe area and this is labeled area of minimal flood hazard zone X up here which is outside of the 500 okay so that's generally the three zones you'll see there is a zone A without any elevations assigned. That just means this stream or whatever has not been studied. And there's no elevations that we can use for that. This is railroad hatching right here. Looks This is a ditch, it looks like to me. But this is the flood way. This is where the majority of the water will flow in a flood. Uh, and this is also the fastest water. You can't build anything in a flood way. Okay. You'll notice too that uh, this subdivision was developed. This land's not used right now. It's probably lower, and well, it is lower than the flood elevation, so it uh, can't be used. But you've got people over here that are, uh, you know, backyards in the flood zone. Uh, this is a stream coming in from the side down to the ditch. The, these, some of these are in the 1% uh, chance. Uh, zone and some of them are in the 0.2 percent chance zone so this is how you tell if you're in a flood zone or not if you're over here you're probably pretty safe personally i probably wouldn't buy flood insurance but uh if i'm over here i probably would it's just uh lately as we uh, i'm recording this in august of 2016 and we've just had a big flood in louisiana that was a thousand year storm or a 0.1 percent chance so it flooded people that were up in you know up in an area like this i'm not showing you in the i'm showing you in alabama right here but, but generally that's how to find out where your site is hope that helped